Alrighty, Gem Babies, I hope that you're doing amazing. Welcome to your general reading for the month of July with me, Adrian Nelson, your Psychic Tarot Reader. We're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, where you're heading. We're going to clarify and then we're going to end up with a message from the universe. I hope you all had amazing, amazing birthdays. Let's see what we've got for you. So starting with that recent past. Ooh, some of you had to heal from some things. Um, so it seems like the recent path was a little bit bittersweet for some of you. Um, we've got the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Tower Energy. All right. And all of this energy is very much about movement, starting there with the Five of Cups. Some of you had to let certain people go, certain energies go. So we're going to see what we got here. This is a general reading for love and life. You can see that some of you had to let certain people go, certain energies go, certain connections go, because it was holding you back in life, you know. Um, maybe you were still reminiscent about the past. I can also see that for some of you, a past connection was sort of messing up something very beautiful, in, in love, in romance, in energy, in a connection, something that had the potential to be very beautiful, but some of you still had some things in the past that were unresolved, some hang-ups and things like that. So that definitely needed to be addressed, that definitely needed to be sorted out. I can see that you moved away from there, and I can see that, you know, that you really had to do that inner healing. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be with love, but it's definitely with emotions. Some of you, or, or, or it doesn't have to be with a relationship necessarily, but for many of you, it's a deep, deep inner sort of healing that needed to take place. And I feel that for some of you, um, somebody might have betrayed you a little bit, um, in whichever way or form, that you just sort of needed some time to just really kind of get back to yourself. You know, I feel that for some of you, it feels like your heart was somehow ripped out of your chest. Or maybe you dealt with someone that was just wanting to be there, sort of like, you know, during the good times when things are flowing. Um, maybe you were dealing with someone that just wanted to sort of like, you know, get involved with like the physical enjoyment of things, but not necessarily there for the hard times. So, um, for some of you, I actually feel like maybe the last month or so, the last two or three months even, it was very much about moving through pain, moving through challenges, overcoming certain things. Um, that was knocking your confidence, it was messing with your life, that was even messing with your productivity like at work and, you know, your belief for what you are worthy of when it comes to love and so forth. Now in your current space, you've got the Seven of Cups, We've got the Queen of Pentacles and we've got the Knight of Swords. So I feel that for some of you, you are now dealing with that space where we... Um, first of all, sorry, um, I feel that for some of you, and you want to be mindful of that, you are almost overly cautious. It's like, you may say, I'm not interested in love, I'm not interested in new things, I'm not interested in new opportunities. But the question is actually, are you really not interested? Or are you afraid of being hurt again? Because those are not the same thing, you know? And when we operate from a space of saying, I'm protecting my heart, I don't want to be hurt again, so I'm not going to open myself to a connection again. I'm not saying that you shouldn't give yourself time to heal, but if you almost... Um, completely repelling a connection with anybody in any way. You don't even want to be friends because, you know, what if this goes to the next level? Then that comes from fear. And any action that comes from fear creates unpleasant experiences. The consequences has to be experienced um, unpleasant because it is the motivation behind the action that determines the outcome. All right. So I do see that for some of you, there is some introspection taking place over here with the Seven of Cups. You know, well, how could I allow that? How could I allow that for so long? How could I do that? And funny enough, I feel that for some of you that is necessary because you really want to have a clear understanding of how you got yourself into that space so you don't do it again. Um, I see you being very successful when it comes to sort of like money and the materialistic things inside, maybe feeling very fulfilled in life. You know, maybe you started something new, you started a new hobby. Um, I, I know one of my friends who's a Gemini, beautiful, beautiful soul, um, he's really gotten, he's been through a difficult time 
and you know these really started like um, growing plants which is a very you know a positive thing a very positive way of generating energy you know so I see some of you doing things like that and it being very very positive um, I do sense that some of you want to give that person a piece of your mind though you want to let this fucker know how they make you feel and I get that um, but I feel that that might actually put you a couple of steps back. So you might, you know, you might need to do that maybe in a sense of speaking to the mirror or really writing them a letter and then burning that letter, burning that energy. But I don't really feel that that sort of face-to-face -face outright sort of confrontation, you may get to say what you get to say, but I feel that you may not quite appreciate what comes back to them all right i don't feel that it's necessary energy going forward for you we've got the page of pentacles the six of cups as well as the four of pentacles so things are getting better for you here um, new thoughts new focus towards a different future possibly with someone else um, i see some of you may have been sort of delaying on things like maybe taking that course going to that next level making that move changing the diet towards healthy whatever um, starting a garden whatever it may be some of you have been stagnating with that i see your mind opening towards it maybe i can do that it feels right definitely does i see it bringing you a lot of inner healing um, especially from the past and i see you getting beautiful balance here in the physical in the materialistic so you know if you've been struggling to maybe make ends meet um you know impulsive shopping um maybe getting money and then you you've got no idea where it went to i see all of that being healed because a lot of that had to do with this recent past energy of um just not wanting to look at certain things you know hoping maybe that something might work out with someone else and sort of like without maybe meaning to opening yourself to a, a hope that is not necessarily all that healthy all right um but sometimes a person has to go through that to also learn your lessons so let's clarify that recent past for your beautiful gemini so we are clarifying the five of cups the two of wands and the tower energy and let's see what's coming up there for you so we've got the judgment energy there for the recent past we've got the page of cups and we've got the king of swords some of you just had to let some people go one person in particular perhaps or it could be that they let you go but you have to sort of like you know release them within your energy judgment page of cups and king of swords um in that energy and i can see that it was hard for some of you it was very very hard but in order to almost continue living so some of you your heart has been really really broken um again it's not necessarily a romantic connection but some of your heart has really really been broken um and i feel that you had to you had to almost find the light and the love within yourself and give that to yourself there for a while but one way or the other whatever happened there in the past as unpleasant as it was it really sort of in maturity in mind took you to that next level it really set you up for success it really really did you know um let's look at and when i say success i mean it's, it's almost like it gave you clear goals and whereas before you may have let certain things slide you know you may speak before thinking you may maybe have allowed people to say things that are hurtful and you're just required to keep the peace you definitely move past that which is so beautiful and so excellent you know um let's so in essence even though the past was hurtful it served a very valuable purpose for you okay looking at your current space so we are clarifying the seven of cups the queen of pentacles and the knight of swords and the energy coming up for you is the six of wands the page of swords and the seven of wands you are definitely going to a next level but one of the challenges that you are facing here that i can see um that you are facing here um gemini is that there might be people in your space that may have done quite a lot of good things for you or they were there for you before and you sort of want to take them with you but they're not ready because you've got the six of wands here which is about victory and success in every way shape and form um 
you've made up your mind, you're going to that next level, maybe you're doing a business, say maybe if you're doing it from your house, you're ready to now have a shop, um, and you know, there are those naysayers sometimes, which may mean, they may mean it well, but they're like, you know what, are you sure you want to do this, because I mean, we just have COVID, and look at the economy, and the fuel prices are going up, you know, and... Uh, it's it's that's not sort of what you need because there's a knowing inside of you almost a calling inside of you that knows if you take these next brave steps that it's going to be successful for you all right um just something that's coming up for you gemini you want to take your steps you want to take them in a healthy way but do it for yourself don't try your best to not come from an energy of well i'm going to show them they think that i can't do it i'm going to show them what i'm capable of let your if you and this is actually very good advice that i got from a very good friend of mine that is a gemini if you're gonna compete in life only compete against yourself okay um, and even do that in a healthy way the energy that's heading your way actually i'm going to draw another card for that knight of swords in your current energy the high priestess there is definitely a higher plan for your life trust it know it you can feel it it's affirmed for you and if you are open to go to that next level in life place your dominant hand on your heart take a nice deep breath and you know claim that for yourself say yes to that let's clarify the energy that's heading your way so we're clarifying the page of pentacles the six of cups and the four of pentacles and for that ooh la la yay 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 you have got the full so beautiful powerful new beginnings three of pentacles three of wands this is all new beginnings this is all prosperity and this is the thing in life where um you know it came up for libra as well when you go through challenges life is sometimes preparing you and it feels like life is being so unfair but you know, if we are not sufficiently prepared to go to that next level, then even the most beautiful, beautiful thing that, that comes our way, it is just too sort of like oppressing for us. We can't deal with it. But you are in a space where you are becoming ready. You've been dealing with the people that you needed to deal, dealing with yourself currently. And going forward, it's just you get the choice between sort of like, you know, living life in almost the oppressing way that you've been doing it before, or just shining your beautiful light, your ship is in the harbor. I see life just being so wonderful, so beautiful, so prosperous for you going forward, Gemini. You are so deserving of it because some of you came through absolute hell and you were so misunderstood and so misquoted even by some. And I feel that, you know, that you may have said one thing and the, the way that it was sort of like carried across was completely different to how you may have meant it. To those of you who've seen some of my earlier videos and I just drink water from that like five liter, like that one gallon thing, I have now become sophisticated. I put my water <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a little container, in a, in a water bottle. Um, let's see what the universe has got for you, beautiful Gemini. What does the universe have for Gemini? I just saw the world, there's the world again, or the world cosmos as it says in this deck. End of the bigger cycles, starts of new beginnings for you. Um, and that crossover phase is always a little bit challenging, so you want to be patient with yourself, all right? If the reading resonates with you, I'd really appreciate you liking the video. I'd really appreciate you subscribing, hitting the all notifications. And if you already subscribed, then I want to let you know that I really, 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 with all my heart, appreciate your support. A message from the universe for you. You've got the Death card energy, you've got the Two of Emotions, which is the Two of Cups, and the Three of Materials, which is the Three of Pentacles. So definitely moving from a, from a difficult space, you know, the things, sometimes in life we feel all these challenges that we have, that the year to um, almost oppose the even tiniest little bit of, of happiness and luck that we can have, but a lot of times, you know, it is the, it's the compost that's being created so that we can go to that next level and you're definitely going to that next level, that beautiful butterfly coming out into the larvae, Beautiful, beautiful stuff happening for you. Love, contracts coming together, plans coming together, hopes and dreams coming to fruition for you. Um, and again, definitely the opportunity to do things on a different way, on a next level kind of way that not only makes you happy, but also, you know, it's that positive payback, that positive karma um, for everything that you've put in. It's that positive things that you deserve to come back to you. Okay. 
So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that that helps. Um, if any of you are interested in a personal reading with more guidance, then you can always check down below in the description. You get to see how to book a personal reading with me. There's a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my free oracle card reading course. There is um, also um, a description for if you want to book an online regression hypnosis session what some people call past life regression so you can check all of that out down below if you are interested but for now thank you so much for your time your energy your love and your life i'll see you next time Bye.